Would you like to identify invalid traffic in your campaigns and cut it off before any budget is wasted? We've added a brand new functionality to your panel, Anti-Fraud Kit. It consists of several elements designed to protect you from non-human traffic. There are two new columns in the report view, Suspicious Clicks and Suspicious Visits. Notice that for each campaign, there is a color-coded bar, which represents the suspicious traffic ratio. To see details of suspicious visits and clicks for a specific row in a report, select it and click on the Anti-Fraud Details button. You will see which detail metrics have been flagged for your traffic. Go to our documentation section to see the full list of metrics that we use to scan your traffic, such as known data centers or fast clickers. Okay, moving on. You can also see four more additional columns that will help you detect fraudulent activity if you are running app install campaigns or subscription-based offers. The Mean Time to Convert column shows you the average time it takes to get a conversion after the user is redirected to the offer. In the case of app install campaigns, it's usually the moment of launching an app for the first time. Next, you have Low Time to Convert, Optimal Time to Convert, and High Time to Convert columns that all present the number of installs for each category. To be able to configure the thresholds for low and high time to convert, go to Settings and enter the MTTC tab. Think of the minimum time for a human to install an app. Everything below that time should be considered suspicious. When you're ready, simply apply the changes and your traffic will be checked using these newly selected metrics. The previously mentioned metrics for suspicious visits and clicks can also be configured in Settings. Go to Anti-Fraud Kit tab. All metrics are selected by default. You can select or deselect metrics that will be used to check your traffic. This will affect how your data is calculated and presented in the Anti-Fraud Details, Pop-Up Window and in the following columns, Suspicious Visits and Suspicious Clicks. Let's talk about eliminating invalid traffic and saving your ad budget, shall we? By analyzing your reports, you might spot some referrers, publisher IDs, site IDs, or widget IDs that stand out due to the amount of suspicious traffic and block them on the traffic sources side. You can even export a traffic log with all the visits for a specified campaign and report groupings, which might prove useful to relay to the traffic source. To export it, simply enter the specific campaign report in anti-fraud details. Click on Export Traffic Log and in the pop-up window, Specify the time zone and time range. Specify the time range within 7-day limit. Add additional email address if needed for the traffic log to be sent to. When the traffic source does not have the option to block IPs, user agents, you can use IP UA filtering in volume. You can find it in your settings. Enter IP UA filtering tab. Click on Add. Name your new filter and specify the IP range and user agent. The IP UA filtering allows you to add filtering rules based on IP range and user agent values. Once enabled, traffic events that are sent to your volume campaigns will be limited based on your defined rules and furthermore, excluded from reporting. Also, please note that using Anti-Fraud Kit does not require any additional redirects and there is no negative impact on your traffic. Anti-Fraud Kit analyzes in real-time millions of clicks providing you with revolutionary tools to fight ad fraud without the need of using third-party solutions.